Well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, it's been a year and a half. Uh, I think all of us have witnessed a lot of change. Uh, we got about another two and a half years to go for this term. So I guess where are we? Where are we headed? Uh, maybe it's time to reconnect to the vision. So in thinking about the presentation, I, uh, I looked at uh, our mission and vision statement in the strategic plan. And I have to be honest with you, uh, those are normally pretty boring. Uh, <laughs> Over my career, uh, I find that no one really reads them, uh, and it's, it's not really important. But I did happen to read it uh, in the strategic plan, and I want to focus on the last statement of our vision statement. And to me, it's kind of where the rubber hits the road. It's what we're all about. It's everything we do. So let me just read that to you. It says, we will continually strive to serve our customers more effectively and efficiently. So let me just focus on that statement. First, no surprise, no secret, we're all here for customers, for taxpayers, to serve effectively and efficiently. So, so let me get into both of those words, effectively and efficiently. So what, is, what does it mean to be effective? Well, I was just thinking, well, it could be, it could be Bob Yeager from Northern Kentucky sitting down with Amazon saying, okay, you bring potential 15,000 jobs to Kentucky, we'll be there, we'll meet your schedule on your transportation needs. Could be that. Or just uh, last week, it could be Bart Bryant saying, you know, we have some different options for you to look at, Brady Industries, and here's what we think we can do for you. So we'll meet your needs if you come to Kentucky and bring 550 jobs, $1.3 billion investment. Could be that. That's effective customer service. That's, how, that's fairly high profile, isn't it? I mean, that's, it's hard to, uh, you know, everybody's watching, governor included. But let's talk about some of the, I guess, the more routine, ordinary tasks. Uh, removing a dead animal from the highway. Uh, those kind of tasks, for instance, that nobody really notices until you leave it there, right? Uh, and so uh, let's get into maybe some of the the day-to-day, -day, one on one interactions with our customers. And so uh, to do that, I want to just uh, go through about three examples. And I, and I told Patty to forgive me. I'm going to pick on engineers here a little bit. But uh, it's, uh, I'm an engineer, so I feel like I can do that. But it's, it's all just to make a point. And Cameron uh, yesterday showed me this taboo button. And can, you, can you hear that? Can anybody hear that? OK. So I'm going to go through kind of three examples. The first one is a uh, customer calls in and says, you know, we've had a lot of accidents at this intersection, and, and uh, there's been some people hurt, and I'm convinced we need a traffic signal. Um, okay, um, let me see here. Yes, we have researched that, and it does not meet the warrants according to MUCD ABCDFG manual. <laughs> okay, thank you, and call us again if you need any, anything else. Okay, okay. The second one would be uh, yes. This is this is Brian Engel, and I, I'm I'm the owner of the Funky Chicken Distillery here on Met Marrow Street, and I think I, I need a brown sign to you know to, to display my my business. Oh, just a minute. Yes, let me see. Um, uh, there's not enough space, and all the rules prohibit it. Sorry, sorry. Nothing for you, uh, but call us, call us if you need any help. Thank you. All right, and so uh, down in vehicle reg, um, yes, I have, I've brought my grandmother in, my 90-year-old grandmother, and she really wants to drive. She needs reinstated with her driver's license, and uh, she really thinks she can drive, and she is really, really, really wants to get her driver's license. Uh, yes, uh, what is her vision? Uh, 2400. Uh, she's dangerous. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. So all that's in fun, but uh, I just want to uh, remind all of us that, you know, in my former company as a utility, and I had a lot of customers over the years tell me that, you know, you guys are a monopoly. You know, you, we don't have a choice. And when I think about the transportation cabinet, uh, you know, it's 
it's by and large a monopoly. There's nowhere else for folks to go to meet their transportation needs, is there? I mean, that's, that's, this is it. And we have the power to really box them in and make a, a really rough day for them. Or we have the power also to, and they call it a magic moment, and I was talking to Greg here about soft skills, but it's, it's about, you know, all the answers to those three examples I just covered. It's probably no. There's probably not a lot we can do. But are we, are we really trying for the customer? Are we really seeking solutions? Do they know we care even if we have to say, you know, you know a traffic signal may create more accidents. But let's look at this. Let's look at offset turn lanes. Let's look at flashing LEDs. Let's look at other things. So I, I, I guess when I'm talking about vision and we're talking about economic growth and development, it's truly all about the customers. It's truly, this is what we do. We're, we're public servants. And so I guess, I guess, well, that's probably my 10 minutes, but thank you for your public service as well.